Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be addressing all the queries that you had regarding TCS interview process. Yesterday only, I posted on my YouTube channel a post that if you have any queries regarding TCS interview process that are going on, then do write in the comment section. So around 10 to oh, around 20 to 25 questions I have received there. So I will be addressing each of the query in detail in this particular video. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. And guys, from past 10 to 15 days, we are continuously making videos on TCS. We are covering important interview subjects. Also, we are covering latest interview experiences also. So if you have not subscribed to the channel till now, please subscribe it and do hit the like button because every like and subscribe gives us the motivation to make such videos. Okay, so now let's start this video and before starting the video, do hit that like button. Okay, so guys, the first query is regarding the projects which we can add minor, major, web, D, ML, Android or and how many to add. So again, the regarding these projects, so I have told you earlier also that uh, mention at least two projects in your resume that will be a good one. Okay, so how many to add? I have answered. Try to mention at least two uh, projects in your resume and which one to add? So guys, see, you can mention any two projects. You can mention your minor projects else also and you can mention your personal projects also. But make sure that the projects that you are mentioning should be related to the job that you are giving. So projects should be related to the IT field because you are giving the uh, you are giving the interviews for the IT field. So if you have time, okay, whether you are IT or non-IT student, I know that many of the EC, EEE guys have the projects related to their core domain. Okay, but that is also okay, no issues. But if you have time, if you have time, then try to make a basic project also. No, no matter like you have to be, do a big project only, but what it matters is that your project should be focused on the job that you are uh, applying for. Okay, so which project you can add? I have told you anything. Web D projects you can add, ML projects you can add, Android you can add, your major projects you can add, minor projects you can add. So any person project, anything you can add. At least two projects I would recommend you to add in your resume, and you should have the all the knowledge about that project. Okay, what it is doing, why it is doing, and what was the text I used in it. So I hope now the project related queries are done. If you have still any doubts, you can write in the comment section. I will be addressing them in another, another video also. Okay, no issues. Moving to the next question. I am having percentage below 60%. Should I go to the give interview? So many of you like around four to five comments I have got on my video that the candidate's percentage is below 60% and he has got the interview invite. So what in this case, what I would suggest you see, you have got the interview invite. Your next step should be to prepare for the interview and go for the interview. Whether you will be selected based on this percentage or not, they will decide. TCS will decide. We are no, we are no one to give judgments because many of you are saying that I should also skip the interview only. So don't do this. Just if you are like uh, the criteria you are not meeting, you have not met the criteria, but still you have got the interview invite. Just go for the interview. If you have to be rejected, then they will reject you. No issues. But do not self reject yourself. Just go for the interview and give. Prepare for the interview, go for the interview and give the interview. If they have to reject you, they will reject. Don't do it yourself. Okay. Just prepare and go for the interview. Don't think that, okay, I will skip the interview as I will, as I will not be selecting, getting selected. So don't do this. Prepare for the interview. If you have got the interview mail, invite and go to the centers for giving the interview. Okay. Don't skip it. So I hope I have made myself clear. Do not think anything about your percentage as of now. If you have got the interview mail, just give the interviews. Okay. They will decide if they have to hire you or reject you based on the criteria. I hope this question is also I have covered. Next is, will Java be asked mandatorily in interview? So answer is no here. See, there are many languages that you can use. C++ also you can prefer, you can prefer Python also, you can prefer Java also and you can prefer your what I will say JavaScript also. So all these things, uh, sorry, all these languages you can prefer. So if interviewer, the interviewer will first ask you that which language you, uh, you prefer. So then you can tell either C++, Java, Python, any language. So it is not necessary that okay, interviewer will come and will start asking you Java questions. If he does so, you can always tell him that okay, you don't know Java, but you know Python or C++. Okay, like this you can tell to the interviewer. So it will be not, it will not be an issue because a single student cannot know all the languages. They, he cannot know C++ also, Java also and Python also. So if the interviewer starts asking you Java, so just tell him that I am not that confident in Java, but I am confident in C++ or Python. First of all, like in many interviews, the interviewer asks you that which language you are preferring. Okay. I hope this question is also clear to you. 
next is i am selected for the digital role i have just basics of my internship can i mention that internship into resume or not can they ask many questions from internship or not is there any possibility for rejection by not mentioning the internship in the resume see if you have an internship in your resume it gives you a plus point but it is not written anywhere that if you will not uh, you, if you do not have any internship then they will reject you it is not written anywhere so if you are mentioning any internship in your resume try to prepare for that internship related questions also that what project you worked on what was your role in that project what technology stack you were using there what was the product you were building so if you are mentioning or if you are mentioning an internship or an project in your uh, resume then do learn about that thing also but if you do not want to mention if you do not have any internships in your resume that is also fine because uh, there is no, no, nowhere written that okay if you have not done any internship that you will be rejected don't worry it will not happen just that if you are mentioning the internship in your resume you should know all of these things anything you are mentioning on your resume should be like you should know end to end of it because anything from resume can be asked from you do not lie in your resume do not hide things try to sneak in things in your resume that you don't know okay and if you want that you should not include that internship then also it is fine but other things like projects and other skills should be good so that interviewer can ask questions related to that also so i hope this question is clear to you next question is r n q t exam must also be considered after interview for final selection or it will be completed based completely based on the interview round only so see NQT exam marks are only considered for sending the interview invite mails to the students. Once you got the interview mails, then only the interview will decide whether you will be selected in a in a TCS company for any profile or not. Okay, so marks are only used for sending the interview invite mails to the student. They will not be considered for the final selection. Final selection will only be based on your interview. Okay. so i hope this question has also i have also answered so do not like be confused just prepare for the interviews try to give your best to the in, in the interview final selection will only depend on the interview how your interview went next is i have still not received my original documents from the college my college department says we have to wait at least 2 months to get our original documents i have to just i have xerox copies of mark sheet now will they allow me to attend the interview if i don't have original mark sheets so answer is yes you sh should have your photocopies handy with you because college also knows that okay mark sheets and all these things are not present or uh, are kept by the college only so once you get the result once you are selected in the tcs and when you go for document verification then you must have your original documents but, but that will be later not now you are just going for the interview purpose so a photocopies of all the mark sheet that have happened till now should be with you originals are not at all mandatory as of now just the xerox copy will do it okay no issues i hope this thing is clear to you okay and guys if you are watching this video till here i hope you are liking the video so please hit that like button because it will motivate us to make more such videos and if any other queries you have that i am not mentioning in this particular video write it in that comment section also and i will try to address it in the next uh, video okay so now moving ahead okay so the next question you had was sir your pdf slash notes have generic question regarding tcs interview preparation so guys this also i want to highlight to you that yes the pdf will co is, is containing generic questions only because the questions are limited only see the subjects are same let me show you that notes first so subjects are same like c++ only java only python only so there are generic question only that have already been asked in the interviews so i have told you specifically in these things that i am not giving anything out of the box but i am giving the common interview questions that are uh, that are asked in tcs so these pdfs are specifically designed for the preparation of tcs ninja digital and prime role to make these pdfs actual interview questions are considered so i have posted lot of interview experiences on my channel okay youtube channel so from that only the common interview questions from different different subjects whether it is c++ java or python i have like made them into a single single pdf so that you should you should not go anywhere else like if you currently what you were doing before this you were doing like you want to read c++ so you were going into google and typing c++ and reading from there next you need to run python then you were going like okay to the different link so entire idea of this pdf was to give you entire things at a single place 
and so that it will help you revise the concepts it will help you learn the concepts and it will help you last minute preparation also before the interview so entire idea was to give you all these things in a single place i have never told that okay i am giving something out of the box that questions i will give you three questions that are very new but no common actual interview questions which are very common in these subjects i have told you i will be providing in this pdf so don't be like confused that okay i have like uh, misled you i have always told that these pdfs are containing important interview subject uh, questions which are very commonly asked in these interviews only in tcs interviews only and all these things you will get at a single place only you know no need to go to different different places to search for it and therefore i have kept this the price of this pdf also very nominal because lot of effort have gone from my side also for these questions so therefore a very minimal price i have uh, 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 kept for this so that you can buy it. okay so don't be confused that i am giving something out of the box it's like general questions only just that all these things are at the one place and these questions have been asked in the actual interviews of tcs also and i am continuing i am continuously trying to upgrade these pdfs also i will give i will give the links of these pdfs in the description box that from where to buy if you are interested in buying it okay so i hope this question i have also made it clear next moving ahead do we need to answer all the questions in an interview so the answer here is no see one person cannot know all things so try to answer 80 to 85% of questions rightly okay this is a general rule of any interview 80 to 85 questions if you try to answer correctly then you will be selected okay don't worry about that okay no need to answer all these questions if you do not know any question you can simply say to the interviewer that oh, this question i don't know okay no issues just be honest in the interview honesty is the best policy as per the interview structure so try to answer 80 to 85% of questions in the interview next is will i get ninja if i am appearing for digital or digital if i am appearing for prime so again many of you have commented this thing so again see you will be given a single interview okay whether it is of prime whether it is of digital role whether it is of ninja role in a on a single interview based on the performance of that interview it you they will decide that whether you have to give prime whether you have to give digital or whether you have to give ninja so, okay so if you are giving the interview for prime then based on that interview only they will decide to give you prime digital or ninja it is not necessary that okay you are selected for for prime and your interview went very bad not even a single answer you were able to give still you will uh, be getting ninja this is not a necessary thing okay so from prime to ninja you can go downgrade so from prime interview you can get ninja but from ninja interview you cannot get prime okay upward is not possible okay downward is possible that okay from you are giving prime interview you can get ninja based on your interview performance that is possible but that also depends on the interviewer in your performance if you are not answering even a single question in the interview whether it's a prime digital or ninja you will not get anything simple as simple as that so don't be like try to play safe that i am going for prime if nothing nothing fell uh, nothing is answered then also i will get ninja that is not the right uh, thinking okay i hope i have made myself clear again if you are finding this video useful till here do hit that like button next is tcs selection mail is received but interview date mail is not received so i have talked to many students so around many uh, some students have got the interview date one day prior to their actual interview some have got 10 days prior also so one day also i know the student 10 day prior also i know the student so it is safe to assume that around 2 to 4 days before your interview before interview you will be getting the interview date mail and the location of giving that interview so don't worry just keep on preparing and just keep on checking your mails so once you receive the interview date mail it will be around 2 to 4 days before your interview okay so i hope this thing is also clear to you next is my main project involves machine learning but i don't know much about it should i include it in my resume again the same question i am i have explained it earlier also if you are including anything in your resume you should know about it don't like just try like just uh, based on like just add it and you will like you will be thinking okay we will now see in uh, the interview that what type of question is asked don't do that if you know that thing add it in the resume if you don't know if stop uh, don't include because these things small small things matters much very much in the interview okay i hope this question i have made it myself clear next is how many days before will i get interviewed i have told you you can expect 2 to 4 days before but i know students who have got one day before also and i know students who have got 10 day before also 
so don't worry about this okay two to four days is a safe thing to assume just keep on preparing next question is how many interview conducted tr mr hr in one or separate so i have heard many many of the students so some have done tr plus mr plus hr in a single interview only in one interview only and some have done some have done tr plus mr in one interview and hr was in the second interview okay and some have done tr in the first interview and mr plus hr in the second interview okay so so this these uh, these combinations are possible for you as well so there is not a fixed pattern generally earlier it used to happen that all these interviews happened in a single interview only but now okay now there are different different rounds for it okay so don't worry about that just keep on preparing that the way you are preparing as of now so just that i wanted to answer that so if you still have any doubts you can write in the comment section i will be happy to address them next question is i am a non it student will it subject question will be asked from me so answer is simple answer is yes because you are giving the interview for the it role okay it role you will be right uh, in the when you will be getting selected in tcs you will be writing the code no you no don't have to do anything about your ec and triple e background so yes it subject questions will be asked from you dbms questions can be asked from you oops concepts can be asked from you sql questions can be asked from you basic basic dsa uh, coding theory question can be asked from you okay so a project also uh, it should be preference okay project also can be asked from you all these it subjects can be asked from you being a non it student also so don't like just leave any subject if you have time just study them okay uh, i think these are all the questions okay last last question is here interviews are online or physical so answer is physical you will have to go to the center to give the interviews what to wear formals formals uh, informals what it comes shirt pant for boys and like girls know what to wear okay so simple many of you were asking should i wear coat so it's very hot outside don't wear coat just just formal shirt formal pant and shoes are good okay no worries i hope i have made myself clear in all these queries still you have any doubts you can write in the comment section if you want to purchase the notes or pdfs from our uh, site the again the links are in the description box so all these queries if you still have any query write in the comment section thank you for watching this video do hit that like button as well as subscribe button for this channel